We haven't driven this car before, David. It's something brand new here in the Australian bush. David, what is it? It is a Jaguar XF R Dynamic HSE P300 All Wheel Drive. No, that's it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Stunning looking car from the front. It's a stunning looking car from the front. The double J blade, fancy pixelated LED lights that look like this when a car is approaching. Now you'll notice that as the car majestically sweeps past, the pool of dimmed light follows the car. And that comes standard in this Shagwar, but not in the other ones. Yeah. The looks are wonderful, aren't they? Oh, look. A number of car companies try really hard with either being bland, they've given up, or they uh, go all out with creases and, and angles. And who could move past the grill without mentioning this lovely big growler? Let's have a quick look at the leaper that's around here. The sideways Jaguar leaping. Tell me the price, son, the price. So let's start with the roof, Alan. This is a sliding panoramic roof. And that slides up and over the top? I believe so, yes. Lovely. And, and that, uh, by the way, is $3,370. Well, I'll tell you something else that's an option, David, and that is this. Ah. What is that, may you well ask? Well, I'll give it, it, its correct title is a leisure activity key. Are you into leisure and activities? It means you can go to the beach, it deactivates the key which you've left inside the car, and it means you can walk up to the car and do this. And open the door. And what that means is that this waterproof key you can wear into the surf. Although, it's got some pins on the back for charging, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Isn't that dark? And the privacy glass that is, obviously, $845. Well, this is the camera that makes for the clear sight interior rear view mirror, which of course means a video. Yeah, so it means your rear view mirror is a TV screen. We'll show you that inside. David, what about the boot spoiler? The boot spoiler, how much do you think that might cost you? I would have thought it's in standard. Is it not standard? No, it's an extra $405. I'd leave it out. Electric boot lid. As you would expect. Tons and tons of space, but it is a very shallow boot. You can't fold the rear seats down. But we do have some bag hooks up here. Oh. And some clips there. Presumably that's for bags as well. But have a look under the floor. It is the biggest donut in the world. It's a tiny little narrow space saver. That's what, 20 inches? Yes. Now, being a gentleman, you're going to want to get in the back of the car. David, get in the back of the car. My driver's seat was back, as far I have it back a fair way. So, it doesn't Oops. look too bad. Snug. Oh, that's okay. How's your, how's your space? There yeah. looks to be a little bit of room. How's your feet underneath? Yes, uh, you can get underneath. A little bit cramped under there, but uh, at least there's some room. And uh, so that makes it well. We have a map holder here. We have a little shelf, a power output, but no temperature gauge adjustment. Gee, that tan leather looks lovely. It also comes in other colours as well. Alan, what do you think of this ebony suede cloth lining? It feels so soft, like a pair of posh shoes. Kind of Elvis Presley, bit... that's what it reminds me of, Elvis Presley and his oh. blue suede shoes, but oh, this okay. is great. <laughs> this is where you, you flick this off and put the emergency key in, should you want to, and that locks and unlocks the car. You've got tons of headroom in the, in, in the front, David. Uh, no. No, I've only really got about but an inch. It is electrically adjusted, so you could lower that if you desired. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, still still not huge across the, the rim of the And this sunroof. does have the new Jaguar interior. The Jaguar stalks, thankfully that is just for the usual windscreen wipers and light controls. But David, have a look at this light control. It's one of those flick on and it flicks back to the other setting again, which really annoys me. But that's how you get the automatic pixelated lights to turn on. You just turn them on, leave them on, and it goes high beam, low beam, all by itself. These buttons perform multiple functions. And if you've got seat heating and cooling, it'll operate that by pushing it in, 
and if you pull it up it operates the fan. Lovely wide vents here with some more metal detailing, some more of the engineered wood trim. Memories for the doors even on the passenger side. You can use the sport settings to fettle your level of comfort or discomfort but more importantly if you press the little OK button on the steering wheel David you can change the appearance altogether. What David was having to do just then is to get the, with the steering wheel to come out he had to press the electric button but keep pressing it because it would only go a very short way. Graphics on this 360 degree camera are just extraordinary. You can also use the side menu and hit hit on any one of these camera views and it will just jump to that. Wireless charging, David? Yes, as long as you pay for it, $180. Isn't that outrageous? And heads up display, it costs you money too. David, it's nearly two, it's only $50, $50 off two grand, $19.50, that's outrageous. That should be standard. It should be standard. I as tested price in this car is 111,311 bucks. Plus on roads. Plus on roads. And it has a four cylinder turbocharged two litre engine. Its response is very good. It's got 400 newton metres of torque, but it gets it from low revs, 1,500, up to 4,000. Which is typical of a turbo, really, isn't it? Here's our rear view monitor 0 to 100. Oh. It feels its weight. Well, you didn't put your sport mode on. Would you like sport mode? Didn't Shall I try select that for try, you? Try, try dynamic, yep. Well, if you're going to be picky about it. Well, that sport mode makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. It must... Uh... Holds the gears, gives the engine extra sparkle. Eight-speed gearbox. Eight-speed gearbox, that's right. And it's a beautiful engine too, though, you know, David, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't miss the that six-cylinder, you know, kind of rasp that, that uh, the Mark II had. OK. We are on our classic test uh, motorway, the yep. M2, which is an appallingly built road with so many joins well, in it. Well, it's got to join every metre. I mean, that's ridiculous. But you can hardly feel it, and you certainly can hardly hear it. it it's almost as though it's a distant thing, you know, yeah. rather than something that's happening to you and to you personally. And that'll be this noise cancelling, David, the active noise cancelling. Is that right? Yeah. It works like a charm. Now, some of the other things that I think work in this cabin is the dark and brooding nature of the interior, that even the timber is dark and brooding and atmospheric. OK. You know what? It's, well, it's it creates... a contrast, too, to the leather then, isn't it? That's right. Well, you know what it reminds me of? Hmm. An Art Deco Gentleman's Club, oh, where okay. they had wood and leather and metal, beautiful carpets, and so forth, all mixed to create this ambience and this atmosphere. And this has an ambience and atmosphere. And this has 400 watts worth of meridian. So behind these little laser etched panels, 400 watts worth of sound, and that's enough to be going on with. We demonstrated, but uh, you know, what usually happens. The fuel economy, they say, is 7.2 litres combined, <laughs> but David, what, read out what I've got it set on on the dash there now. It's 11.2. 11.2. And that is combined. That doesn't seem to me to be very good. This feels like a palace. I really, really like this a lot. Do you think it's a worthy successor of the Shagwa XJ? Given that this is the only one that's left. Well... The yeah, large, you know, large I, I always saw the XJ as being a little bit more long wheelbase luxury sort of Well, thing. I understand that, but it's not but, available anymore. No, no, so, of course. So this is your choice. If you want something that's a large passenger sedan, this is it for Jaguar. So I think this is more Mark II than it was Mark X. Oh, the choice I mean. of the Cray Twins, David, I could imagine 
I can imagine Ron, Ronnie and Reggie yeah. getting out of this with their nut, knuckle dusters <laughs> in dinner suits, of course. Was it Ronnie or Reggie that was particularly uh, sartorial? Uh, not sure. The gay one, anyway. Yes, I, I knew one of them was. Uh... No, I can't remember which one either. Well, they were twins, so I suppose it hardly matters. Mm. Those big 20 inch wheels haven't adversely affected the handling or the ride. The roughness of it, yeah. No. One thing I haven't mentioned, David, is this has the adaptive cruise control. So if I switch this on, it will go right down in traffic. So if I turn this on now, it's set at 40 because that's the speed sure, zone. Yeah. It's keeping me at 40, but also the car in front's pulling up and we're pulling up as well. Now that'll go right down to zero. Yes. But the best thing is, in traffic, this makes me feel calm. Let's add to the ambience by hitting like. Or leaving a comment. Or even both. Mm. But most of all, don't forget, now that I've laid this bit of film over this that we prepared earlier, hit just there to subscribe.